Well, just before you joined us, there was about 40 or 50 zebra drinking where it's these two remain. Here you can see a lot more coming back down. They're obviously very, very nervous because when they're quenching their thirst, they know that at any moment, one of the huge crocodiles that inhabit this Mara River could launch out at them. Wouldn't that be terrifying every morning or every time you have a drink knowing that you are in an immense amount of danger? There's probably about 200 to 300 zebra massing up behind these ones. This is an area where we have very large zebra herds. Look at all of them. Incredible. And they've all got a big fright. It seems like the panic is spreading. Look at all that dust being kicked up. Now, what's interesting is that I'm fairly certain that this is a resident herd of zebra. So this isn't part of the migration. I think these zebra always hang out in this area. At least since I've been here, they've always been here. So it's interesting how you do get residents that stay year-round in the beautiful Masai Mara. There's the Olololo escarpment in the background. Our camp is on the top of that ridge, but further to the right, further north of us. And it stretches kind of north-south along the western edge of the Mara. We're somewhere probably behind that bush. Okay, well, it seems like all the zebra have moved off, but what I'd like to do is show you some Ripple's long-tailed starlings, which are just running along the floor there. It looks very similar to the Birchall starling that you get down in the Sabi Sands. Well, they hang on, what's going on here? They're supposed to have white eyes, and I did see one a little bit earlier with a very bright white eye. Well, no, these don't seem to be. There's an Egyptian goose, which I'm sure a lot of you are used to seeing. Just chilling out. You can see how it's got its one webbed foot. Elevated there, doing a bit of a balancing act as the starlings hunt for insects in the grass behind it. Very good. Well, I'm very happy as Tristan's managed to find Shongile and Mvula for you. Sounds like an interesting sighting there, and who knows if things will heat up. She must obviously be hugely disappointed by the fact that he's stolen her hard-won kill. Okay, well, considering things have kind of petered out here, we are going to continue further south. We're going to follow the river and try and catch up with the migration. But the good news is, James seems to have just found it, so you're going to go over to his vehicle and see what's happening over there. Oh, good morning, everybody, and I'm sorry for...